What's going on guys, Andy here, Cutting Clean Lawn Care, you know the deal, GI Expo 2018. It's been a while, it's been a couple years, we're still doing the thing. I'm here with Matt, Equipment Defender. You guys know how I feel about my Equipment Defender products. I love them, man, they're still on the trailer. They've been on there through the rain, the sleet, the snow. I left them outside on the trailer and they look great. They're still working phenomenally and there's no rust on them. But they came up with a new backpack blower design and we're gonna run through it real quick so you guys can see the new backpack blower system for Equipment Defender. Right, guys like i said we're at the equipment defender booth i'm here with dave and we're going to talk about the new and improved backpack blower rack that they got going on i'm gonna let dave talk all about it andy thanks for coming by absolutely man here's the new blower rack we've tried to listen to everything that the customers had to say about the original design and what they la asked for with this one was very low profile if you look at this design it's actually lower profile than the blower itself the bottom support is in behind the face of the blower the height is lower than the top of the blower, so this actually takes up less space than the blower itself. From there, they asked for a lock system where they could manipulate it very quickly and get the blower out very quickly, and we achieved that with this design here. It's that quick to secure the blower into your rack. They also asked that they could secure the blower in it without actually locking it. So this design was important for that. That's unlocked, yet you can pull the blower in and out very quickly. Uh, so now it's unlocked, ready to take the blower out. The tube holder originally wasn't big enough for the stills. This one's big enough to get the big still tube even. It can be just crushed or, or, or spread out a little bit more. And the blower comes out as easy as that. When you put it back in, just secure your tube back in there. Secure that in, bring this across. All right, the tube holder here can be pivoted out alongside so it's in line with the rail so it's not behind the blower at all. That was something people requested. They didn't want it behind because they didn't want to take up space inside the trailer. So that was a very important design. The bottom support that goes in front of the tank is over molded plastic. It's a, a, actually the steel goes into a mold and then the injection molded plastic right over the top of it. So it's a very good protection for the tank itself. Uh, okay, this is what I was talking about with the adjustment. It adjusts anywhere you want it, 180 degrees. It also adjusts up and down so that you can get a perfect position on the, on the uh, blower tube. Okay, this rack was designed specifically to address the need for low profile. So it does not stick off the wall any further than the blower itself when it's adjusted. Um, you notice it's very low profile front to back here. That was a complaint with the original design and this one is totally takes care of that problem. Um, this would screw right to the wall. This piece adjusts to the blower itself. So you slide it in as tight as you can to the blower. It's over molded plastic here. Get that out of your way. Over molded plastic here to protect the tank. We have tamper resistant screws. You can see there's a nipple in there so you can't put, you'd have to have just the right screw. They're also oriented to the inside of the rack so they'd be very difficult to tamper with. Um, everything else is adjustable. You get a perfect fit for every single blower. It doesn't matter what blower you're running. The lock system is very simple to use. That's actually locked right now, so I can't open it. And one of the cool things with this system, similar to the original system, obviously, is you still have the ability to have combination lock or your standard lock and key for these. Just depends on what kind of person you are and what you're kind of looking for for your setup to have it locked.
So there you go guys, the new stuff going on at Equipment Defender. I got Dave with me and uh, he's your go-to man. So if you guys have questions on this product and you contact them, feel free to get hold of Matt who you saw in the beginning or Dave and he can help you fix any issues or if you have any questions he can definitely answer them for you. Absolutely. I'll Happy see you guys work. man. See you guys in the next one. Check your body.